and we will uh, what we'll do is just go right on into the next match. Let me tell you something. My phone has been ringing off the wall every day, every minute. You know, I just had a phone call last week from Dallas, Texas, and a man called me and said, my name is Dr. D, baby, Dr. Dell. Bad, baby. He said, I'm bad. I'm from Dallas, Texas. I said, well, what makes you so bad? He said, listen, ma'am, I want to wrestle. I want to wrestle for the first family. He said, you take the baddest man down there in Tennessee you got. And I said, that's Jerry Lawler. He said, you put me in the ring against him, and I guarantee you I can beat him. I said, look, what's your, what's your credentials? He said, ma'am, when I was in spring training, spring training, baby, I got fined $1,500. Every day I practice for beating up my own players. That's how bad the man is. He had more penalties than anybody for the Dallas Cowboys in one year. And he's going to be on this TV program today. Today? Today, baby. I feel so good. Stay tuned, baby. You're going to see the greatest day of my life. I feel good, Russell. Woo! Oh, Jimmy Hart's bubbling today. That's bad news for somebody. I don't know exactly who. Probably for us in the audience out there. We've got uh, Rude and Bundy in the ring. Get Craig Carson and Ken in here. Okay, Davey, let's have the official introduction. One fall, 15-minute time limit match. Uh, total weight, 440 pounds on the right of the screen. Ken Raper from Memphis, Tennessee, and from Brown Rock, Texas, his partner Craig Carson. Going against him at 692 pounds from Atlantic City, New Jersey, King Kong Bundy. And from Beverly Hills, California, Rick Rude. Their manager, Jimmy Hart, one fall, 15-minute time limit match. Jerry Calhoun, the referee. They are a very imposing-looking team. The word is awesome when you look at Bundy and Rude up there together. A couple of good young wrestlers in Carson and Ken Raper are going against them today. Hart at ringside. Oh, Southern heavyweight champ, Dave. I think, did you mention that? No, I didn't. Hey, don't ever let that happen he's, again. He's a yeah, <laughs> Southern heavyweight champ. Here we go, Dave. And he's in here against Ken Raper. 460 pounds worth you're looking at in there in King Pong Pong Bundy himself. Bundy outweighs in the business and they uh, found out why <laughs> they've got the reputation they do. We'll take time out. We've got more action coming up and we'll be back to it with Rufus R. and Mark Reagan in just a moment. Dressed out in his favorite uniform. <laughs> Jerry. Says Browns. Hey, you notice they finally win a ball game this year, and here he comes all decked out. I've been waiting for years to wear this stuff, Lance, and, uh, you know, I got it all, man. I got the jersey, the, the, the jackets, I got it all. When Eddie Marlin called me Thursday, and he said, you know, I just got a call from Jimmy Hart. And he said that he has found, and you know how hard it is on the phone, I guess, to Eddie Marlin. He calls and says, look, I found the greatest wrestler. It's the greatest day of my life and everything. He called Eddie Marlin and told him that he's found a, a former member of the Dallas Cowboys. Dallas Cowboys, yeah. And I said, Eddie, do me a big favor. And, and, he, and Hart said, the greatest thing about this guy is he wears the Dallas colors. He wears the Dallas hat. He wears the Dallas uniform, all this stuff. I said, great. I said, you book him against me on television. I said, let me wear all of this stuff that I got when I went up to Cleveland last year to interview those guys, and we'll just have... It's going to be sort of like an NFL match here today. I told Calhoun, I said, don't disqualify anybody. If anybody uses a fist, throw the flag. Give them a 15-yard penalty. We're going to do it all. <laughs> so anyway, I'm looking forward to that. That's, going that's to come coming up a, a little minutes. bit later, yeah. Before, but, but before we talk about that, I want to talk just a little bit about, uh, you know, uh, Dutch and Tommy were out here talking about what took place last week. Uh, not a very pleasant not a very pleasant situation, not only for Dutch, but for myself and Randy Savage as well. You know, we wrestled down at Cook Convention Center, and uh, there were two big matches. First of all, we had Rude and Bundy. Then there was a big uh, triple chance, two-ring battle right. royal with $5,000 to the winner. Supposed to be only one winner. Well, in our first match, we're wrestling Rude and Bundy, and I take that wimp Bundy, and I drag him all the way back to that convention center, and I had him down in the floor with his tongue hanging out and his eyeballs popping out on stems. I'm choking the life out of him. Hearts clinging all over my back. We're right out in the middle of ringside there. And Savage has Bundy pinned up in the ring, right? All right. So the referee's out there well, he's with us. out there with you guys. Hart looks around, sees Bundy pinned. He goes up there, takes the powder or whatever it is, and throws it in Savage's eyes. Now, here comes the referee. One, two, three. We lose the match. That's right. Okay, we got a chance to come back in the triple chance battle royal. 
You're supposed to have one, run, one winner in ring number one, one winner in ring two, and then right. they come back and wrestle each other. Right. Well, in ring one, it leaves down to Bundy and Rick Rude. Right. Now, instead of them wrestling each other, they stand there like They're two refused. goofs. Yeah, and they say, we're not going to wrestle each other. That's right. So what happens then, the last two left in ring two were me and Randy Savage, so that made it convenient. We wrestled each other in a tag team match. You're going to split the money, right? Right. Same situation. Mm. Bundy, Bundy and, and uh, Savage are outside the ring. Here I got Rude pinned, and here comes Hart with some more powder right in my face. We lose $5,000 plus two Big matches buck. in one night. Right. That's right. I'm sick of this, Lance. I've had it up to here. If Hart is going to constantly interfere, which he'll claim that he doesn't, but everybody out here knows that hey, you can't have a match without the Hart, the Wimp Hart interfering. Am I right or not? You can't have a match. So I told Eddie, I said, Eddie, the best thing to do I've told him this a hundred things to do. The best thing to do is don't let us have to worry about Hart on the outside of the ring. Put him in the ring. Make it a six-man tag where we, here, got a, here. we got our fair shot at Hart, right? So he, we've got the match for Monday night. I'm looking forward to it. The only thing that I've got a big, big surprise in store for Jimmy Hart is I didn't want to announce today who our partner is going to be, but it's going to be me and the Macho Man, and we're going to have a mystery partner, somebody that wants to get at heart real, real bad, and we're going to go against Savage and Bundy and Rude. And all I can tell you is it's not going to be the greatest night of Jimmy Hart's life Monday night. I can assure you that because we got a big surprise in store for the wimp Jimmy Hart. So, Lance, I want you to be there, and you people be there too because, as I said, it's going to be a surprise, a big one, and a happy one for me and Randy Savage. And Hart is not going to like it one bit, Lance. That's oh, be. yeah. Now, that's the kind of talk we love to hear. By golly, I'll tell you one thing for a fact. Anything that'll make Jimmy Hart unpleasant is going to be a situation where it's going to make a lot of other people happy for a living fact. That's coming up on uh, you Monday night. believe there's going to be a lot of getting it on down. Uh, here comes Rick Rude, King Kong Bundy, and... And what happened to the greatest day of your life, uh, uh, Jimmy? You're out here, you got the neck brace on. Well, let me just say this, Russell, before I start. You know, last week out here, we did something that maybe Bundy and Rude shouldn't have done to Jerry Jarrett, the promotion out here. And I just want to make an open apology right now that it will never happen again. It will never happen again. And uh, on behalf of Bundy, Rude, and myself, that uh, we'd just like to apologize to Jarrett and the promotion, okay? I want to get that out of the way. What happened to my neck? A while ago, I was jumping. So enthusiastic a while ago, I went back to get a drink of water. When I leaned over to turn the water on, something in my neck popped here. Rude and Bundy carried me to the back, laid me down back there. They called my doctor, Dr. Evans, right here. Dr. Evans told me that he was going to send a note over here that positively do not crawl in the ring with anything or anybody. Don't even be close to the ring anymore today or for a week because my neck has been very seriously injured, and you know that, Russell. So what I ask him to send a note over here that I can give to Eddie Marlin because I'm not going to be able to wrestle Monday to night. To get you excused from wrestling Monday me, night? Well, not to get excused because I am injured, Russell. Don't you understand that? If your neck's hurt, it's hurt. So I'm just, like I said, I, I'm not going to be able to wrestle Monday night because of my neck. Doctor's orders, and that's the only reason, because I am a man first, and you know I am a man. But I am not going to risk seriously injury for my neck. Now... We have a mystery partner that's going to be in our corner because if they can keep secrets from us, Russell, then we can keep secrets from them. So we've got a mystery partner. That's what I've got to say. You know, Lance, I don't understand exactly what's going on here. We've beaten Jerry Lawler up single-handedly. Shut up. He went out and he got a partner. Now we beat him and munchkin man Randy Salvage up. And now they're going to get a mystery partner. Lance, who is it? Do you know who it is? Uh, I don't know anything about it. All I know is that the idea was that Hart's interfere and they want Lance, to get him in the room. Lance, how can a couple of great athletes like myself and King Kong Bundy train for a match when we don't know who we're fighting? Now, it doesn't matter really who it is because we're not afraid of anybody in professional wrestling, but we want to know who it is so we can train accordingly. Well, you don't know who You know, Lance, Jimmy can't plan the kind of strategy. The man's a genius at planning strategy. He can defeat anybody in professional wrestling, but we've got to know what we're dealing with. This business about uh, mystery partners is a lot of nonsense, and the family's not going to stand for it. You know, I watch Jerry Lawler out here complaining, crying, and making excuses. You know, Lawler, excuses are nothing, baby. I'm sitting back here in my special dressing room that the Southern Heavyweight Champion has for himself and watching you cry, Lawler. All the AWA record book says is October 23rd, Cook Convention Center, 
ravishing Rick Rude and King Kong Bundy defeated Jerry Lawler and Randy Savage. And then we came back in the Battle Royal and took all the money. There's no asterisk, Lawler, that says Jimmy Hart interfered. There's no footnotes that says we cheated. It's right there in black and white. We beat you. Except your defeat, Lawler. You were beaten by better men. You've got that consolation. Unfortunately, you're correct about the record books. That's what they That's say. Right, and, well. Jimmy, <laughs> it is a grave disappointment that you are using this to this get out of that I'm not right. using anything. Do you know who it is? If I knew who it is, I might even take this off the raffle. But my doctor told me I can't do it, and I'm going by strict. You listen to your doctor, don't you? Well, that's what I'm doing. I'm listening to my doctor. He said positively not wrestle. You know what? I could wrestle. You know, Jerry Lewis might be doing a telephone on me if I got piled drive one more time in the ring out there, so I can't take a Lance, chance on it. Jimmy Hart isn't a wrestler. Jimmy Hart is our manager, and he's injured at that. But we want to know, that's beside the point, we want to know who this mystery man is. Monday night, you'll find out who the mystery man why is. Do we, why should we wear this law, or aren't you, Lance? You're just as scared of the matter. They can keep secrets from us, we can keep secrets from them. Well, now we got two mystery partners because Jim... His heart has got his neck brace back on again. All of a sudden, he was taken with a serious situation that prevents him from being there Monday night. The action will be there. A couple of mystery partners and a six-man tag. Time out. We'll be back in the ring in just a moment. Out here, Jerry, uh, I hope we don't have a repeat of what happened last week with uh, Rude and Bundy. I noticed they were out here making an apology to you, and well, they should have. Yeah, yeah, Lance, I, I just want to take a minute of the time. I, I received a lot of calls and letters at the office about the little incident that took place, and I feel like that it warranted, because for every call you know that you've received, there are several hundred people that are wondering the same thing. A lot of the people ask, you know, why didn't you... Uh, why didn't I hit them? And the first reason for that that I explained to the people over the telephone is that I am not insane. They are, they are two very <laughs> tough guys, and I was Good standing thought. here at the time by myself. The other reason is is that a couple of years ago I had a, an eye problem that uh, uh, makes it so that I, I, you know, I was in danger of getting hit. It was a degenerative lattice, which means the retina is uh, on the verge of being detached. Mm -hmm. So um, I keep getting checkups, but I, I don't feel that I'm, uh, or I didn't feel last week that I was in a position to get in, in a fist fight. Uh, what I did do, though, that I think the fans ought to know, is that I had Bundy and Rude come in the office um, because I felt like we had to take some assertive action. Yes. Uh, we fined both of them $2,000 and told them that if any incidents like this happen again, uh, the, the Jarek Promotion Company would suspend them. Uh, I've, I've done that, and, uh, and I have another little surprise for them that, that we won't talk about right now. You're not going to share that? With I did want to explain to the people what, uh, what the situation was. Okay. All right, Jerry. I'd like to know what that little, little surprise is in there. Okay, Jerry. Uh, Jerry, thank you for coming out here, and we, I think, are ready to go, are we not, David? Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. Last week, when uh, when Jer when Jerry was out here, we uh, had Bundy and Rude, who came rolling out, were pushing Jerry around. Um, he had we had presented on behalf of the other promoters involved in a big extravaganza that was uh, uh, held in Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, this trophy, Rude and Bundy come out, and then let's look what developed after they started pushing Jerry Jarrett around.
<laughs> Boy, that's something wow. you don't want to get through every day either, oh. I'll tell you for a fact. Temperatures running a little bit high. Okay, we're ready to bring them in here right now. The Destroyer is going against the team of Rufus. And Mark Reagan going against the dirty white boys in there, Rufus. Uh, I know that uh, because of the way they jump mark in there, it would be a particular uh, delight to you to be able to get to the dirty white boys. You guys are going to be looking for them Monday. You know something, baby? The one thing about the dirty white boy, they are tough. Ain't no doubt in my mind. But, baby, when you see Rufus Jones and Mark Reagan in the same ring, honey, we tough too, baby. And I guarantee you, Monday night at the Coliseum, Rufus John be walking tall, baby, and be done his thing. Woo, my Rufus, God. Uh, they call you freight train. I want, I want you to take a look at this with us. Here you come. You're getting up that head of steam, and brother, you lay it to him. Mercy, baby, mercy. I tell you something. When our freight train come, the head by far up, baby. It's all over with. And Monday night, white boys, you are gonna sit. We call Rufus Jones and Mark Reagan here, baby. Gonna be getting down, honey. We call him with a fire university, honey. And all fouled right here. Look at him. Right. <laughs> you guys get along in great shape. You're looking good as a kid. Monday night, we're gonna dance, we're gonna wrestle, we're gonna do it all right there. Okay, good luck to both of you in there. We'll be looking for Thank you in the dirty one. Whoa, whoa, there's the freight train, Rufus R. He's teamed up with his nephew, uh, Mark Reagan, and I'll guarantee you they're going to mean some steam coming down on anybody that they get in that ring with. 54 tights out with Jay, Jay on the back of them, man, and you can wear them because I know I can whip. There's no doubt in my mind, baby. I'm telling you, I figured out who it's going to be. You're going to be you, back in the six-man tag? going to be, baby. I, here's what I'm saying. It's going to. Uh, Jerry Jarrett is the man that it's going to be in the ring. That's who it's going to be right now. He said he had a surprise for us. Didn't he say he had a surprise? Yeah, he said he was going to have a surprise for you. I guarantee you that's but what, what I want to know is you telling me that we're going to be right back in the ring. Wait a minute. This is my little time right here. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. You happen to be out here, that's for a fact. You ain't so smart, baby. Art has done a little riddle solving in here, Jerry. Well, let me just say, Hart, you know, uh, first of all, as you can see, Lance, I have a contract here. Hart, in other words, you're saying that you figured out who our partner is going to be. Now, you you know, it hadn't been that long since Jerry Jarrett was in the ring, and I had many matches with him, and uh, he was a very tough, very formidable opponent. And, uh, you know, if you're so smart and you figured it all out, what I have here is just, uh, this is what you call a bonded contract. Now, I know that you are saying that you will be here, Hart, or you'll be there Monday night, but what I'd like you to do, you're so smart with that brilliant brain of yours that you figured out who our partner's going to be. Why don't you... You sign this bonded contract, and then all that means is that, uh, uh, you know, that, that you will be there. And then I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll tell you. What? <laughs> Somebody said, watch out. Yeah, boy, okay. watch out. Yeah, really? Okay, listen. Tell you what I'll do. You sign this contract, Hart, and then I'll just, I'll just go ahead and tell you who it is. And I'll tell you this much. It's, you know, we didn't bring in some big exotic partner or anything like that. It's Eads right here in the studio. And uh, all we need your name is your name on this bonded contract that states if you don't go ahead and wrestle in the match, then you're going to forfeit this is a sum the, of up to $10,000. See, This, so, in effect, is simply a no-show guarantee that you're guaranteeing that you're going to be there, Hart, uh, in the six-man tag. That, that, and he, huh? and okay. he, he and Bundy and Rude, they want to, you know, they want to be able to prepare for the match. Then sign the contract stating that Hart will be in the match, and we'll go ahead and tell him who the partner is, and that's, you know, simple. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me see. Let me tell you something. First of all, Walter, don't get any ideas about trying to jump me out here because Bundy and Rude are watching that monitor. I want you to know that right now. I am not scared of anything or anybody. I've had a serious injury, but baby, for this match right here, I know who it is. It's not Jackie Fargo. You know, I, I thought it over. I went out in the parking lot, and I didn't see that old rental relic he drives down here. I know it's not him. I know it can't be Dutch Mantel. Now, you ask me, it can't be Dutch Mantel because him and Tommy Rich are in a big match Monday, right? Title on. match, that's okay. correct. And it's got to be somebody that's in the studio today, right or wrong? Well, they are here. The mystery partner is here today. 
All right, that's what he said? Well, let me tell you something. Surprise, surprise. You got to get up awful early before you put one over on me, King, you and Savage. Let me tell you something. I'll sign this because I promise you this. We had to come out and apologize on TV while ago, and it made me sick to have to do that to him. He's going to crawl in the ring. Hey, as a promoter, I respect him, but as a wrestler, we can do anything we want to do. Give me this. Where, right here? It is, right here. Anything we want to do to you, Jerry Jarrett, baby. Anything you want to do, baby. I promise you this right now. I promise you, you understand this. that's a no-show no guarantee. A no-show guarantee, but I promise you this, Lawler. You and Savage have made the biggest fool out of yourself you've ever seen in your life. Jerry, Jared, baby, make my day. That's all I've got to say. Make my day. You got it, Jerry. A guarantee that Hart is going to be there when, when you and Savage and your mystery partner jump in there. He is guaranteed that he will be there. King Kong Bundy. Look how well his Ruth. neck is. Oh, all of a sudden, yeah. He ran off and left his neck brace his back up. His in such good, good shape. Yeah. Well, I just hope it's just as that good a shape Monday night because his name is on the contract. Yep. He will be in the match, and uh, we'll let you all know who my partner is going to be in just a little bit, okay? Oh. Okay, now you said you would tell it if he would sign it. Tell you what we'll do. Let's take time out. newest member of the first family. We're going to take a look see right here today, baby. Dallas Cowboy. He's the one that's going to do uh, the king in. Uh, Call Jeff from Dallas and said, hey, bring on the biggest, the toughest, and the roughest in there. You know, there's probably some people just tuning in. I just wanted to explain why I'm dressed in this outfit once again. You know, uh, as Hart said, he's got this former Dallas or ex-Dallas Cowboy player. And I got a lot of friends on the Cleveland Browns. And uh, like Curtis Weathers gave me this jacket. Lyle Alzado a couple of years back gave me this uh, jersey and everything. And I just thought it was a good opportunity to wear this out here today and uh, just uh, put a little egg on Hart's face here for once in a while. All right. I don't know anything about Dr. Death that's up there, but this may be Cleveland's very best opportunity to be. Dallas, I hate to say that, Jerry. <laughs> okay. He wears that in his car and he wears it. Baller. We've got more action. We've got the Dirty White Boys, the new generation, coming up in just a moment. Took care of the Dallas Cowboy, oh, Dr. Death already. Yeah. I'm so sick of seeing them on TV every week anyway, you know, so we just put an end to that. Listen, Hart has been out here driving us crazy about who mine and Randy Savage partner is going to be. Did all it's of It's time people. for the announcement. Uh oh. <laughs> Come on, I told you now. You know, he said they used to have a problem with his eye, right? I know, that's what he said. Okay, Jerry Jarrett on. coming out of the coat. He's ready. Can you play some music for me? You want yeah. some music too? Yeah. All right, how about a little music for our partner Monday night? Okay, let's hear it right now. Today, baby, I said, handsome Jimmy, whoa, Mussy is back. Cold stone sober, matter of fact. I want to tell you something, baby. Kingfish Lala, I love you to death, and you know that, brother. And savage, savage is street people. I like that, you see. And I want to say, snake, snake hot, and this big head Bundy. You know, I call him big head. Big head, he, he reminds me of what I'm Waterhead baby or something. And I want to say one more thing. This Ricky Rude. Ricky Rude. Ah, handsome Jimmy. Woo, mess, that's me. Handsome Jimmy has been talking to a few girls around town. A few ladies of the street, you understand? And I came to the conclusion. Hey, that's a big word, huh? Conclusion. I came to the conclusion that what I'm going to call you, Ricky Rudd, is... Where's the beef, Rudd? Yeah. You know something, baby. 
on the block. Listen, in my head, I want to tell you something, Kingfish. Right now, I'm no mystery to Memphis, Tennessee. That's right, Jim. I'm no mystery You're man, awesome. baby. You better believe it. I love them chitlins, and I love them grits, and I love that gravy. Yeah, brother, right. cornbread. Hot cornbread and butter. Woo, must that. Black eyed peas and green yes, stuff. Sir. Yeah, that's what that's I like, good. baby. Hey, Kingfish, Savage, and the Boogeyman, Hansel, Jimmy. We coming Monday. It's not going to be no mystery. And we're going to get down on the first, the first family. Mm. Is that right? I can't see all three of you guys on one side of the ring. Well, you better see it Monday night, and so is that one. Jerry Lawler is going to be in there with as wild as we ever saw, Randy Savage. And to make matters worse, it's going to be handsome Jimmy Valiant. And Jimmy Hart has already put his name on a no-show contract so that he is bonded. He is going to be there. Looking forward to that action Monday night for handsome Jimmy Hart. <laughs> That's my boy right there. <laughs> okay, David, what do you say we take a look at? <laughs> Our out of town, actually. <laughs> I don't know whether we can. It'll handsome Jay. Jimmy's still over there saying, howdy, howdy. <laughs> oh, boy, is he wild. We got one on Eddie, hot stuff. Gilbert, let's take a look at it. A couple of hot stuff teams right here, right now. We're talking about the Dirty White Boys new generation. Davey, I have have the introductions on this final Match bout. to the expiration of time, introducing at a total weight of 455 pounds, the West Coast champions, Lynn Dell and Tony Anthony, the Dirty White Boys, going against them, total of 442 pounds from Charleston, uh, West Virginia, and Lexington, Kentucky, Mark Batten and Johnny Wilhite, the new generation. Match to the expiration of time. Jerry Calhoun is the referee. Oh, hey, we're going to be ready to get at it. And uh, it'll be Denton starting out here going against Johnny Wilhoit as soon as we get the various material off the ring edge. Here we go. I think I said Lynn Dillon. It's Lynn Denton. Denton, yeah. Denton pounding with that forearm. And look at Wilhoit battle. Whoa, man. Right away. Showed him the new generation doesn't have any intention of backing up. 
Even though they're giving away a little size, both teams in excellent physical shape. And I'll tell you one thing, this dirty white boy team of Anthony and Denton, rugged competitors, man. They are some kind of rugged. And the same obviously goes, uh, you know our feeling about the new generation, one of the really up and coming fine tag teams around. This is a dandy and a premier expiration of time match here on Championship Wrestling. Mark Batten twists that arm up, fire into the rope, and slips around, goes into a front face lock. He's picked right up in the air by Anthony and banged into the turnbuckle. Tag on Linda. Boy, Batten made a good move there. He missed on uh, the move he was trying, so he converted to the face lock, but still, uh, Dirty White Boy is able to uh, take advantage of it. Did you see the way he just fired him up in the air, mm -hmm. picked him up and rushed him into that corner, slammed him on that turnbuckle. And right now, in the air, and Denton bangs him down, center of the ring. Big body slam on Mark Batten. Drops down with the elbow, and Batten in a little trouble right off the bat here in the first ball. This is an expiration of time, so we just have to see how many falls we're going to have the opportunity to get in today. There's a tag on Johnny Wilhoyt. Johnny wheels through there. Wilhoyt, uh, best known, I guess, one of the one of the absolutely awesome drop kicks that you'll see in professional wrestling. This guy gets up so high in the air, spring steel in his legs, and he can really go. Mark Batten takes over the standing side headlock. And the dirty white boys having some trouble right at the moment. As Denton is in, Anthony is out. The referee, Jerry Calhoun, checking them over to be sure there's no choke on it. It's clean, and there's the tag. Willoy takes over again. Johnny is from uh, Lexington, Kentucky. Wrestles right. out of Lexington, Kentucky. And Mark Batten. He's out of Charleston, West Virginia, out of, uh, yeah, West Virginia. Tag on this side of the ring. Dirty white boys exchange. Anthony in. Boom. Oh, 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 oh. Go, 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 go. Whip into the rope and down goes Johnny Willoy. I'll tell you, if he can get back up, that uh, he needs to pull one of those great cock kicks out of the barrel right now because the dirty white boys are wearing him out right at the moment. From behind with a killer forearm. Dirty white boy rushes him back to the ropes and on a whip. He's waiting for a backdrop and takes the foot right in the face. There's a tag. Mark back over the top rope. Firing in. Look at him go. Good drop kick from Batten. Another. A third. All four of them in the ring now. Referee getting Will Hoyt out. Anthony is out of there. Now it's Denton and Batten. And look at here. Hustles him up in the air. Nailed by the dirty white boy outside the ropes. And that's going to be it. First ball of action is going to go to the Dirty White Boys as they double team right over by the ropes in a rather neat fashion as uh, we take a look and see how they did use the double team to get the first ball over the top. He leapfrog and look at over here on the left of the screen. Dirty White Boys straight at it. Zing! While the referee is keeping Willoyd out, he nails Batten and there's a cover. One, two, three. Davey, our time. 2.44. Let's take time out. We'll check and see how much time we have for another bout. We've got 56 seconds left in the studio. No time for another fall in there. New generation would love to have another crack at the dirty white boys. But 
We had a dynamite show today. Hope you were interested in that little behind the scenes thing that happened on the interview uh, particular situation. We also had some great matches today, Dave. Yeah, we did. Tommy Rich, Dutch Mantel defeated Keith Robertson and Eddie Gilbert in their match. King Kong Bundy and Rick Rude over Ken Raper and uh, Craig Carson. Then it was Rufus R. Jones, Mark Reagan defeating the Destroyers rather handily. The King, Jerry Lawler, uh, Cleveland defeated Dallas there as he defeated uh, <laughs> yeah. Dr. Death. Right. Then it was uh, the Dirty White Boys over the new generation. Two minutes, 44 seconds, the time on that fall and just uh, too much of the Dirty White Boys and manager Jimmy Hart. Yeah, boy, and I'll tell you one thing. They really went at it while they were in there. But by golly, we've saved up some for next week, and we're looking forward to having you right back here with us because we're going to have a lot more of that action and some things that you have not seen before. Until we see you at that time, for Dave Brown, Lance Russell saying bye-bye, everybody. The announcers on this program are selected and paid by parties other than this station.